Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here. Oh, okay. <laughs> OCD. We're going to go ahead and do another reading for you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. I hope you're all doing well. As always, I hope that you are finding peace along your journeys and just doing things that you enjoy to do. I hope that for all of you who are celebrating holidays, I hope your holiday season is going by in a positive way, okay? And thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate all the contributions that you guys make to the channel. This video is sponsored by yours truly, Pisces Merch, okay? Be sure to ooh, be sure to click the link in the description box. But Spirit say, let's get started. Anything you need to know is below. Also, you guys, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Follow your girl because I'm dropping gems everywhere, okay? Okay. So, Spirit said guidance, number one. You're being led to having a more firm foundation, Pisces, that I feel is necessary for you to get where you need to go in life or get where you want to go in life. Be who you want to be. Be where you want to be. Um, and I feel like you're receiving a lot of guidance from spirit. Um, but there's something about your perspective that needs to change. I don't know if you may need to separate yourself from another person or if there needs to be some type of like boundary that's set here. But I feel like you're being guided to change your perspective when it comes to separating yourself from things that you no longer need, people who you no longer need situations that are no longer beneficial for you i feel like some of you guys are being guided to change your perception or perspective about some type of breakup or separation it's like looking at it as something that's good for you looking at it as something that needed to happen and then finally like being able to let it go like i feel like some of you may be struggling with like the idea of having to do something on your own because you don't feel like you should have to do something on your own or you don't feel like you deserve to have to work so hard or whatever. I kind of feel like that is the perspective that you have to change because I think that you may feel it's more difficult to get something done on your own. But in reality, if this person were around you or if you were still with them or if they were still in your energy, it would actually take you even longer to do whatever it is that you want to do or do whatever it is that you've been called to do, okay? So let's see. Are any angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors? Father, my God, for Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces at this time? Okay, first we have conflict. Then we have choose wisely, sequential order with 23 and 24. What else? Can I get one more card? Thank you. And then again, change your perception. All right. So there's a difficult decision, Pisces, that I feel like you guys are being drawn to make or forced to make. Like this could even be a decision you're being forced to make, but it's difficult. It's like there's two ways that you could go about looking at the situation. And I feel like spirit wants you to change your perspective towards a more of like more of a positive perspective, like looking at the glasses half full instead of half empty. Look at what you're gaining instead of what you're losing, what you think you're losing versus what you could, you know, prospectively gain. Okay. I do feel like you're kind of on guard. You're on edge. You could be definitely a little bit um, antsy here when it comes to people and their energy this could be a situation with someone specific or just people in general. Uh, but I feel like you guys, you know, you have a choice. And I feel like you can either choose peace or you can choose problems. Okay? That's what I see. Conflict. And then you have some away still at the bottom, even though we went through and shuffled. And abundance is yours. So I feel like overall, this is a message that is urging you and advising you, um, trying to persuade you um, through this guidance from spirit to separate yourself from someone's energy and to see it as a benefit instead of like a hindrance. 
okay? I feel like you have to make a decision to look at this from a different perspective or else you're always going to see it as something negative, you know? Or you being taken away from someone, you being removed from someone or someone being removed from your life, you know, you may be sad about it. You may be angry about it. You may feel like it's not fair, whatever the predicament or circumstances are that you're in. But I feel like spirit is really trying to guide you at this time to see this from a better perspective or see this as something that is beneficial to your overall like goal. Okay. What does Pisces need to know when it comes to this message? Okay. So we have the 10 of wands. So Pisces, I feel like you may be trying to force something or force someone to do something that they're just fighting you every step of the way. Look, fighting you every step of the way. It's time to stop fighting. I mean, it hit the it hit the table in reverse. It's time to stop fighting. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they're never going to help you. They're never going to support you. It's like, I don't think that they're ever going to be the person that you want them to be with this title card and the five of pentacles. I feel like this person is like, they're not going to fight for you. It's like they... It's like they, man, it's like they just refuse to learn a lesson. And it's like you're trying to keep forcing them to learn this lesson or you try to keep helping them. And I feel like it's it's like you're mad because, okay, you're going to be mad at me. I, I don't care. You, you're mad because this person won't get it together. And what makes you mad about it is the fact that you're like, I keep trying to help you. I keep trying to give you chances. That's what I hear you saying, Pisces. It's like, you know, I keep trying to give this person a chance to do right and save themselves. I keep trying to give this person a chance to make amends. I keep trying to give this person opportunities to 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 make it right or to get their karma back together. And they keep on denying it. Well, Pisces, I'm going to just break it to you right now. I'm not judging you. And I understand. But you got to stop. You got to cut it out right now. Because it's like you keep giving them chances and you think you're giving them all these positive chances. But because of the fact that they don't defend you, they don't fight for you, they don't work for you, or they don't do anything to ultimately benefit your life, the only thing that, that you're giving them a chance to do is to betray you. The only thing that you're giving them a chance to do is let you down. And I think that's what spirit wants you to know. What else? Justice in reverse and the nine of wands. So I think the nine of wands was first. And then we have justice in reverse. So Pisces, what I feel like there's no, like this person doesn't plan on treating you fairly. They don't plan. There's never going to be any balance in this situation. Like there's never going to be any balance in this situation. There's just always going to be you being abused you being taken advantage of, you being like the amount you've given this person so many chances and they still haven't made it right. You've given this person umpteenth chances and they still have not made it right. They still haven't done what they're supposed to do. They still haven't balanced out the scales. They still haven't paid you back. They still haven't, you know, lived up to their obligations in whatever way that you feel like they're obligated to you, but they're not obligated to you. And that's the point. That's what's hard because it's like you felt maybe that, you know, you were being nice to this person or you're trying to help this person or whatever. Stop. Stop trying to help them. Stop trying to give them chances. Stop fighting this. It's time to, to finally let this burden because this person has been a burden on you. Could be a Libra. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Virgo. Okay, let me see who else. Libra, it could be a Libra, a Taurus, or a Virgo. It could also be an Aries, a Scorpio, or another Pisces. But I feel like it could also be a fire sign. Like it, it could be a Sagittarius. Or or it's like this person is putting this drama and conflict on you. Like they're putting this burden on you. 
because they're not fighting for you. They're not defending you. They're not learning their lesson. So it's just constantly drama and conflict. And you keep going back and forth. I feel like you keep leaving and coming back. You keep leaving and coming back. Going and coming, going and coming. Are you going or are you coming? This person is financially inconsistent. They're like physically inconsistent. Like sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. If something is going on with them, then you fall on the back burner. If this person don't have the money, then you don't have the money. If, you know, if, if they're if they're not happy or they're depressed or they're unstable, then it's basically, you know, F off to you, Pisces. That's what this is. This person is wishy-washy. And they're juggling like two different things. They could just be financially unstable. And it's like their energy is, yeah, reverberating off of you. Like they're giving you that negative financial energy that's keeping you stuck. Because you feel like they owe you something or you feel like you have to keep helping them or something like that. And it's draining your energy. Literally making you exhausted. What else for Pisces? What else are the messages? Okay, page of pentacles in reverse. Like you don't wanna like you don't wanna look at the fact like you I, I feel like you don't wanna look at the facts or it's like you keep trying to like I don't know, Pisces. I don't know. Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. It's like, you know you need to move on, but it's like you're fighting it for whatever reason. But Because I feel like this person irritates the shit out of you. The skit. They irritate the skit out of you and not theater, okay? The Sun and the Ace of Swords. See, that's what I'm saying. The only thing that this person brings you is bad news. And you see clearly that you have to cut this person out of your life. You have to block this person. Some of y'all need to block this person in order for your justice to come in. Some of you guys need to just never communicate with this person again. Some of y'all might need to put a restraining order on this person. But you're being guided to literally... Like, there was just a reading we had that said you need to abandon them. You're being guided to abandon them. You're being guided to abandon this person. You're being guided to sacrifice this person. You're being guided to throw this person off the boat and continue on with your life. Okay. Wow, the moon card. Okay. See, the thing is of why the, the reason why this person never wants to listen to your advice or they never want to hear you out or they never want to do right by you is because secretly they don't want you to succeed. Secretly, they don't want you to move forward. Secretly, they don't want you to be successful. Secretly, they're trying to block you or they 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 want you to feel broken down. They want you to feel like you can't move forward. They want you to be just as stuck as they are. So that's why every time they come around, it's negative. They bring bad news. They make your energy feel drained. Like they're literally causing a burden. They're making you work harder than what you have to and not getting, like it's like working seven days a week and not getting paid. It's like you're putting a lot of work in for free. And I feel like spirit is like, stop working for free or something like that. This could be within your job. Or your business. They may want you to raise your prices. And it may not make people happy. It may make people upset about what you have to do. But listen. F them. Okay. F them. With the capital F-U-C-K. Swim away. Once you swim away. Abundance is going to be yours. That's what spirit is saying. Because this person is secretly attacking you. Or they're secretly abusing you somehow. Like they're literally taking action against you. Like if this person is physically abusing you, like definitely leave. They say tarot readers ain't supposed to tell you what to do. If somebody is beating your ass, leave. Now, make a plan, get your skit together and get the out of there, okay? Leave. Now. It don't matter if you gotta leave all your stuff behind. That, fuck, man. You're going to get more of that. 
You going to get more of that. You going to get more of that. You going to get more of that. The first thing you need to do when you leave is take some type of documentation like that Ace of Swords and the Sun card. Take pictures of your face. Take pictures of your body. If you got bruises, do what you got to do. If somebody's destroying your property, take pictures of your property. Whatever it is that this person is doing, take your documentation and proof, Ace of Swords, Sun card, go to the proper authorities and do what you need to do. Because with this justice card in the reverse, I feel like you don't want to get the police involved or you don't want to get someone involved because you're afraid of what's going to happen to this part. Oh, well, let it happen. You're going to keep letting them beat your ass? <laughs> I'm sorry, it slipped, okay? The Wheel of Fortune in the page of wands. See, this is what I'm saying. I feel like this reading is confirmation that you need to move on. Whether it's somebody financially abusing you, physically abusing you, spiritually, mentally, or emotionally abusing you. It is time to move on. You're discovering the truth. You see the truth. You're, you're feeling the shift. Okay, one more card. Ooh. Well, we got the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So... It could definitely be a uh, water sign, earth sign energy, but this could also just be somebody who's stingy, very stubborn, stuck in their ways, emotionally closed off or distant. Um, someone who is very strategic. I don't, I don't have the, that card, but I feel like this person is very strategic. <clears throat> That's what it is. Cause I almost choked. They're very strategic and calculated when it comes to money. When it comes to finances, when it comes to hiding money and finances, this person is hiding money and finances so the government won't find out or so the courts won't find out. Yeah, but that's about to change. Somebody may be even lying about their employment or the fact that they have started to make more money or there's been some type of change in their finances. Okay, this could be a husband. This could be a father. This could be a brother. It doesn't have to be a masculine energy, okay? But it could be a masculine energy. They're making you do all the work even though they're grown enough and capable enough to do to do their part in a situation. They always bring you bad news to make your life hard. They make it hard for you to progress and move forward. And I feel like Spirit is telling you that if you continue to allow this person's conflicting energy or conflicts to like control your life you're gonna like you're gonna be dried out like your finances are gonna be dried out everything is gonna be dried out what else does pisces need to know all these cards coming out in reverse ace of cups in reverse they don't love you they don't care about you they dump their emotions onto you for some of you guys for some of you guys they don't care if you know they upset you they're not learning the lesson. That's the whole point. They don't defend you. They don't stand up for you. They attack you. And they're supposed to be the one supporting you or they're supposed to be the one who has your back. But it's like weird, okay? The Nine of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Like, I feel like this person gets inspired or gets some type of hard on when you're crying and when you're upset and when you're worried and when you're stressed they love it you got to stop allowing this person to have that type of ammunition you can't tell this person anything about what's going on in your life you can't let this person see you sweat you got to show this mf -er that their sorry games are worthless and that you don't even know who they are who who is this oh i don't know I can't recall. What else does Pisces need to know? Eight of Cups. See, that's what I'm saying. It's time for you to like, it's it's time for you to stop giving this person chances to hurt you. And you may not want it to be this way, but it has to be this way. They're just, see what I'm saying? They're manipulating you or they're manipulating situations behind the scenes to try and, you know, cause some type of detriment to your life and that's what this is i feel like a lot of you guys are finally walking away secretly creating a boundary okay what else does pisces need to know yep the ace of jesus okay 
All right, there goes the Ace of Swords in the Sun again. Then you had the Ten of Swords that wanted to come out. What's this? And the Star card. See what I'm saying? See, your justice is going to come when you stop waiting for this person to give it to you. I don't know if that's an apology. I don't know if that's them finally telling you the truth. I don't know if this is them appreciating you or acknowledging you. I don't know what this is. But what I feel is that you making a sacrifice to maybe work harder on your own or do more by yourself or, you know, start from the ground up, start from the beginning, start from scratch. You making the choice to do that and sacrifice this negative situation is what's going to turn this justice around. But I feel like what Spirit is saying is that you're never going to get justice from this person regarding what they did to you. They're never going to try to make it right. They're never going to work with you as a team. It's always going to be them trying to take advantage of you. And I feel like now you finally see that. Now you finally learned to free yourself of this commitment or to finally leave behind the idea that this person is going to change. I, I just feel like they're never going to change. They're just going to continue to try to bring like conflict and situations that are negative to your life. And it's like you, you have to stop giving them the opportunity to make you upset. And that's what I feel like this Ace of Cups and Page of Pentacles reverse. You have to stop giving them the opportunity. You have to stop sticking around to fight and argue and be in the conflict. You got to separate yourself immediately. Go on, in, go on off in the night. Some of y'all with this Eight of Cups in the moon. Some of y'all need to go off in the night and disappear. And not let this person find out where you at or what you're doing. And once you're gone, be gone and don't come back. Okay, we have skeletons. Secrets are about to be revealed. So I, I definitely am getting a vibe where... I feel like someone could be going to jail for like money laundering or some type of situation. We have blockages and humor. I don't know what this is. It kind of feels like someone's laughing at you for being blocked or they're happy that you are stuck in a situation, stuck in life, stuck in your emotions. I, I feel like that's being discovered, but I also feel like there's some type of like legal situation, um, contractual agreement, some type of court documents, contracts, or something that's being broken. This could be a divorce. This could be an, an annulment of a marriage. Um, maybe this is you deciding to file paperwork. Maybe you've already made the decision to leave and you're filing paperwork and just, you know, surprising this person with it. But, you know, the star card shows me that there's hope in this situation for you if you finally decide to see the truth. If you finally decide to see what lesson spirit is trying to teach you and just learn it. When it comes to this person, they're never going to change. And I think, you know, the fact that you hope for this person to make amends and the fact that you hope for this person to see the error of their way so that they save their own soul because you're just such a loving son of a gun. And you really just want their soul to be saved. That's what it is because you really love this person. But it's like they've chosen. They've chosen their path. And now it's time for you to choose because... They're, they're, I, I hate to say it, but they're damned pretty much. I feel like this person is choosing to be damned. And I'll be damned if y'all don't get to see it, okay? Missing piece. You are missing a major piece of the puzzle. See what I'm saying? So there's something that's about to come out that you don't know or that you're unaware of. Seeing through the fog and obsession. So I just feel like someone is obsessed with making it hard for you to see clearly where you need to be going and what you need to be doing. They're upset. Like they literally become aroused when you're hurting or when you're crying or when you're upset, like they literally get a rise off of your pain. This is crazy. What else does Pisces need to know? Okay. Yep. Okay. Am I saying anything or am I just talking? Am I talking or am I screaming? Am I yelling or or am I whispering? Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? An obsession again with angel numbers. 
So you know that this person is obsessed with you. Y'all heard my stomach growling. I'm doing a like liquid fast, a liquid diet right now. And I'm hungry as frick. Mm. I really want actual food, but I'm not going to let myself eat right now because I have to cleanse. I'm trying to do this liquid diet until Christmas. Okay. But literally your abundance is coming in, Pisces, once you swim away from this person, once you leave this person behind, once you finally walk away and never come back. Like Spirit is literally saying, never come back. And I know that's not going to be easy. I know it's not. Okay, this person could be deadbeat. They could be a, a, a codependent leech. Okay, they could be someone who needs your energy. And then we have success. See what I'm saying? Don't stop and be assertive. So I feel like be assertive is just basically saying be assertive about what you want. And if you want something, you have to go after it. Meaning you have to literally remove every blockage from your path assertively like like without question without hesitation that's what they want you to do they want you to be committed to your own happiness and fuck this person's salvation okay that's their responsibility not yours they are their responsibility you are not responsible for them because they're a grown adult and if they're a child and they've chosen this path of negativity there's only so much you can do as a parent and then you have to distance yourself because lit literally people really don't understand if these kids, some of them, not all of them, and only in certain situations, okay? Take action is at the bottom and then you have forgiveness. So it's time for you to take action towards what you want and leaving this person behind and working on forgiving them for the things that they have done to you so that you're not constantly living and reliving this trauma that they keep trying to make you experience for the rest of your life. Cause that's what they want. They, they, you know, wh what does somebody do when they find something that turns them on? They keep going back, right? So if this person is turned on and excited by your pain, they're going to continue to keep coming back to get that dopamine rush. And now it's time for you to say sayonara, good riddance. Okay, Pisces. So be sure to check out everything we have going on. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Y'all subscribe. Be sure to subscribe. Y'all be sure to like the video. I appreciate it, you guys. Also, be sure to join our membership if you are interested in the perks that we have to offer you guys. And as always, Pisces, remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.